Hey y'all, so today we're doing the Million Dollar Highway. We're staying in Durango, we're driving all the way up to Silverton, and then to Ure, and it has been a gorgeous drive. Don't you think, Tiff? Yeah, I definitely agree. It's so pretty. A lot of people recommended coming to this area, and we tried to do it back in 2020 when we actually came out here, and we just couldn't fit it all, you know, it was too many cool things to do in Colorado. So as you guys saw, Silverton is a very small town. There's a bunch of touristy gift shops. There's a few restaurants. There's a barbecue place that was featured on diners, drive-ins and dives. And I was so tempted, but we packed our lunch. But I definitely would have stopped there if we didn't pack lunch, that's for sure. Now we're on our way to Ure, continuing our million dollar highway drive. The Million Dollar Highway is often regarded as one of the most beautiful roads in the entire world. It's a 25 mile section of Highway 550 from Silverton to Ure, and it reportedly cost about a million dollars to build. It was originally built back in 1883, and it summits three different passes, Coalbank Pass, Mollus Pass, and Red Mountain Pass being the highest over 11,000 feet. just got done walking downtown and I would say, is it Ure? Ure. I would say that was my favorite town so far. Yeah, Ure was definitely more populous, a lot more going on than Silverton, but that's kind of to be expected. But we haven't explored Durango yet, so the three major yeah. cities on the Million Dollar Highway are Durango, then Silverton, then Ure, as far as you're traveling from south to north. So we're going to do Durango probably tomorrow. Both places definitely recommend visiting at least once. They're just gorgeous. They both It's an amazing view the whole ride. And I even stayed awake, so that's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, you were driving, so I would hope you'd stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about on the way home. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, definitely recommend those places to stop. Definitely do the highway. Even right now, which is the very beginning of September, so it's the day after Labor Day. At some of the higher elevations, you're starting to see those aspens turn gold, and it yeah, just makes it. Starting to see those leaves change. Yeah, it just makes it even more beautiful. So I bet you, if you came the end of the month or beginning of October, it'd be gorgeous. Now I'm sure it's busy then because a lot of people like to go for the leaf changing season. But I don't know what else to say other than it's gorgeous. I mean, it's just breathtakingly beautiful. <laughs> Today we're doing the Durango Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad, which is the number one train in the USA the past two years. It's supposed to be super, super scenic. We're gonna go up through the mountain cascades, I'm sorry, up through the mountain canyons, and we're going up to Cascade Canyon. That's what tongue twisted me. We got really lucky seats. We're the back seats on the last open air cart, so we have really cool views like you can see. Doesn't get any better than this. Here's what our open air gondola looks like. And then we walk between the carts and then right inside of the closed gondola, there's bathrooms. And then this is more what the closed gondola looks like with the windows. So we definitely prefer the open air, but if it's raining or something, you can see how the indoor one could be nicer for you. And we're leaving. I'm home. The Cascade Canyon steam train runs $81 for adults and $57 for children for an indoor coach where you have windows. And for a gondola, which is where we were seating, is $89 for adults and $65 for kids. Plus there's taxes and fees on top of that. Another cool thing is that if you don't want to pack lunch or you're not able to, you can order boxed lunches while you're on the train and you just pick it up from the concession cart uh, where you can get beer, drinks, and other snacks.
it's definitely the best train ride I've ever been on. A little shaky. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> so we're gonna take a break now. I think if they said a water break, it's gonna be about five to six minutes, and then we're gonna be at Cascade Canyon. Yeah, because it's a steam engine, they have to refill the water. Now we're stopped and we have this terrible view. Right? To look at for six minutes. <laughs> and then in about 15 minutes, we can get off the train. And we'll eat our, like 20 minutes. We'll eat our lunch then. First class lunch. What did you pack? Handmade, roast beef, freshly carved sandwich. By me. <laughs> so Dylan, tell him how long this train ride is and what the other options are. So we're doing the short train, which is five and a half hours long. The long train is like nine and a half hours. There is one other one that's in between that. Yeah, the price difference is like seven dollars, but we wanted to make sure we could get back to the dogs. So we're doing the five and a half hour, leave at 9.45, get back at 3.45. Yeah, so the dogs won't be uh, trapped up in the RV all day. Yeah, so it's been beautiful though. I imagine that the Silverton one is even more beautiful because you go through more of the San Juan National Forest. train, ate our lunch, Riverside, which was beautiful and cold. And now we're going to go do this little hike path that they have. There's a bridge down that we can see. I have to say so far, the train has met all and surpassed my expectations. It was really pretty. This area in general is just so gorgeous. Durango up to Silverton, over to Ure. Now we're not going that far on the train. Now Dylan but, says this about every place we've ever gone to, but this is his number one now. Yeah. <laughs> he used to be Custer with the amenities and just the overall beauty. It's got to be this place. We decided to put long pants on because we didn't know if the weather was going to be cold, hot. Now we're hot. We wear not the proper shoes. There's the bridge that we just were on. That's today's transportation. Can you do this again? Oh yeah. I would too. I would still do the longer one next time. So we packed lunch to save money, but we couldn't help ourselves. We got some vanilla cream soda from Durango Soda Company. And I gotta say, it's pretty banging. And I got a Ska True Blonde Ale. Haven't tried it yet, but I'm ready. So we booked these seats yesterday and we got the best seats on the whole train. Gondola open air, very last cart in the very back. So we have views on both sides. If you get a chance to do that, I highly recommend it. <laughs> do it again. Oh, you think you got it that time. As I put my head down, it gets decapitated. <laughs> Not on my watch. Dylan, are you uh, gonna just keep straight? No, it's gonna be okay. Really? It's gonna rain and we still have to walk home. Dylan finally got his milkshake he's been asking for. So good. <laughs> Adds a little extra flavor. I need your week. I'm just sweaty. We did not just eat, finish eating mom's spaghetti. 